Yeah. Right, if Alex holds up the session, this is what we're doing today. So the session we're focusing on today is working in the final third and attacking the final third. Okay, as Alex is modeling so wonderfully there. We're going to start off with this little session here in this sort of top left corner right there. If you can have a look at this board, what we've got behind us is a large red grid with a smaller pancake grid in the middle, like a four boxes made out of pancakes. Okay, you're going to be split into four groups, one group in each corner. All you've got to do, one ball, one ball per team, is you're going to move into the area, into the middle grid, and you've just got to work your way through each box before then going out and looking to play into the other team, and the team in the diagonal opposite. Okay, when they receive the ball, the next player will come in, work through all four boxes, and then play the ball into the opposite team as well. So there'll be four of you going at one time, obviously four of you moving in to this central area, working your way around the cones through each four box to then move into the opposite act, diag opposite team and diagonal or whatever. So it would work better if each team moves clock diagonal, so you can then pass it diagonal. And it's up to you, this is where I want it to get a bit crazy. Okay, I don't, I don't want it to be some sort of mechanical robotic function where you'll get in the middle and say, right, you go there, you go there, you go this. I want this one to maybe make some turns and cause a bit of chaos and a little bit of drama. Okay, it's going to be a little bit chaotic, it's going to be a little bit hectic, it's going to be a little bit mad. The focus of you guys is just keep the ball under control, work through the four boxes and get to the other side. Okay, and then we'll break, progress it from there. Do it slowly at first, keep the ball under control at first, just make sure you're getting the touches correct. And we'll, we'll build it up into a game so it's a little bit more faster and a bit more pressured. Got it? Yes. There's 16 of you, if I count it right. So, four on each. Get into teams of four. Get into teams of four. I want to see four teams of four. One team in that corner on that far side over there. One team in this corner by this red cone here. One team in that corner by that red cone over there. One team on the far side over there. It's cool, isn't it? Who's left over? Come, bro. It's cool. It's cool. Look, Come, on. Come on. Come on. You four can be a group. Get a picture of that. There. Get a picture of that. Look, they're posing. Look at that, kids. Right, gents, get a ball, go over in that far corner over there. I feel so disappointed right now. You guys get a ball, you can go in that far corner over there. You edit it and you put like the black and then the, the, the fading music. So the sad music. The haircuts. I already can see that. Is that why you weren't at training on Tuesday? Right, gents, why is it taking so long for each group to have a ball in the corner? So I'm first player on the cone, ready to go with the ball. Perfect. Where's where's your ball? Yeah, they need a ball. I'm waiting on you, man. Now, Manzo. Yeah, he's just he's just getting uh, boots on. So Yanka, Alex, Princeton, Santi, you're the first to go. Obviously, work through the four boxes. Get out of the other side. Yanka, you're gonna play into Turab. Santi to Clevis. Alex into Thanu, and Princeton into Manzor. Take your time at first. Just get used to it. Got it? We'll keep it going as long as we can. Off we go. So it doesn't matter what order you do it, just get through all four boxes. Quick feet if you can. Good. Clevis, good, lovely. Keep going, keep going.
Uh, can one of you just give me eight bibs? Just eight bibs and one colour for me. Keep going, keep going. Try and avoid the cones. Good. Good, 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 good. Yankee, good, lovely feet. Well done, Princeton, that's it, good man. Had a one small Princeton today. How'd it go? Very well done, very good. Good. Oh, it's a hot day. Yeah. Alright, keep going. Yeah, just if you give me give four on that team there, and we'll do four on that team there. Yeah, you, you're going to be a man light at the moment. Bottas just sitting out. Why? Um, he's diabetic, so he's just done a, a little check, okay. um, and he's just going to sit out just for a couple of minutes. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Have you had David before? No. My well, last one. Your last one from each. Alex, when you get the ball, hold it there. Santi, when you get the ball, hold it there. Good Yanker, hold it there, Prince. Right, and you come. Just calm in very quickly. Let's jog in though, let's jog in, jog in, jog in, come on. Excellent. So when we talk about playing in the attacking or the final third, what do you find against the, the teams that have, or the, see, the boys that have played with us already? against the teams you've played already, what do you find in the final third that we lack a lot of? Shooting. <laughs> Shooting wasn't the S word I was thinking of. S word that we lack in the final third. The teams that we play, they like to defend deep. That should be a bit of a giveaway. Space, there we go. Well done, Santi. Usually in the final third, we can lack a bit of space, especially if we're controlling possession and the other team but I think it's wise and worse about Haller and some of these other teams. They like to just sit back and defend and essentially play us on the counter. What we're doing now, we're working in tight areas. So in this grid here, you've got a tight area and it's a lot of fine footwork, quick feet to move yourself in and out. What I want you to be now is being a bit more direct. So what was happening in there, you did, you did exactly what I asked you, just fine. You were going through all the boxes, doing as many turns, as many touches as you can. Now I want to see how quick you can get through the four boxes. Because now we're not just doing the fancy football, we're doing it with, with a bit of pace and trying to just get through to the other side as fast as possible. Okay, so now how quickly can we go through the four boxes? So before you even take a touch, when you receive the ball, and before you even get to the box, have a little think and sort of map out and just envisage what, what route you're going to take inside that box. Which boxes you're going to hit in which order? How are you going to work through the cones? Okay, and then it's quick decisions, quick thinking inside the box to make sure you get through all the cones without touching the cones, yeah? It's not a race just yet, but we're picking up the pace slowly. Okay, the next time I bring you in, that's when we'll bring you to a race. But now we're going through the box a bit more directly, trying to get through as fast as we can. Got it? Yeah, yeah. Is that all? That's it. Off you go. Do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? <laughs> get yourself set up. As soon as we're ready, we're going to go. So now think about. Where are you going to go? What route are you going to take? How can you get through the four boxes as quickly as you can? Lack of space. Hey, hey. 
Nice ball. That, that half it was the GoPro. Remember, as soon as we leave the box, we can play a nice pass into our into the feet of our teammate. So as soon as you leave that box, play a nice pass in and carry on. Ready? Go. Keep going, good Bavik, good Bavik, keep going. Well done Bavik, quickly through that. David, just hold it when you get the ball. Hold it when you get the ball. Oscar, just hold it when you get it. Clevis, hold it when you get it. Just hold it there, Alex. Azariah, what happened with you and Thanuzan? Bumped into each other. Why? How? I get in this tight area, we're just focusing on our feet, moving that ball around, but keep your head up. That's why there's four players going around in different directions, different movements as well. Glance at your feet, glance when you go around, just have a quick glance, but look up as well. Because I do not want to see grown men bumping into each other doing a little dribbling exercise. It shouldn't be happening. Glance at your feet, know where the ball is, know where you're playing it, but keep your head up. So look around at the other players around you. It happens in a match, let's bring it now. Got it? Go. Santi, good. Play out, good. Well done, Oscar. Good turn, he's out. Good pass to the left. Keep it going, keep it going. Princeton, good feet, keep going. Fast work, well done. Can you get through to the other side? Well done. Don't let the balls catch up to you. The balls are catching up. The balls are catching up. Why are you coming to me? Well, the ball went. The ball went. If you were in control, the ball wouldn't go. Danny, is that Samir? Who is it? Urshan, that's the one, Urshan. I don't think, I've not seen MP2, but I think he's done the registration. Yeah, he's done the registration from here. Good, good. Last, we'll do last minute on this. Then we'll get into a game. Keep going, Sarab. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let it slow you down. Oscar, good feet. Good feet. Well done. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. You got 30 seconds left. Go on. Keep going. 30 seconds. Good, nice feet, Shamake, good. Santi, good, Princeton, good. Let's break out, good. Keep going, keep going. Good man, all good, well done, good, good. Last five seconds, there'll be last one each. Last one each, keep going. Alex, last one for you, keep going. And hold it there, that's right. Hold it there, Princeton. Keep going, keep going. Hold it there, Danu. David, finish up. And in you come. Quick as you can, we're rallying through this. I like it. Keep it there. 
Yeah, try to open your life again. Go for it. Oh, 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 and that was Shamaka's last appearance on the GoPro. Yeah, Have you noticed the last few videos you've done, whose face is always there, oh, right? It's always there, he's one just sta here. staring at the camera. He must be a thumbnail. It's, it's <laughs> somehow made it onto the, uh, the, thumbnail. the, th yeah, the thumbnail, that's it. That's why I promoted it. <laughs> <laughs> now we get into a game. So now it's going to be yellow teams against non-bibs. Okay, what's going to happen is each going to go through it twice. Okay, so once... So say for the yellows, you're going from that side to that side, then back again. Once you're back in your original places, sit down. First team to sit down wins. Okay. Huh? Of course, man. It's up to you. It's up to you, but I would expect if you sabotage someone, someone's going to sabotage you as well. I'd much rather you focus on getting through this as fast as possible, so we can get into some more fun stuff. Oh. Okay. You're throwing it out. Okay, that's fine. Obviously, what we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do losing team does a little forfeit as well. One of the yellows will go twice. I'll let the team with three decide who goes twice. Alex, you the man Decide when you're in your teams. Understand what's happening? Remember, when we go in here, don't just keep your head down. Don't just focus on keeping your head down, Shamarke Princeton. Keep your head up, look around you, because there's four of you going at the same time. Four of you trying to get through the boxes at the same time. It's going to be a bit hectic. It's going to be a bit chaotic, because you've got the cones to worry about and the players. Take glances at your feet, keep your head up. What you did very well, Fanny, was you kept the ball in between your feet. It was both feet working all the time. Okay, you rallied through it really, really fast because you did that. If you can work on keeping that ball between both feet and using both feet just to sort of skip through the cones, You'll get through this much faster than if you just did it one foot. So if you can try and do it both feet, that'll be better as well. Mm. Got it? You, you have to uh, la correcta. Sure, sure, sure. Huh? La you can't correcta. say the word. You can't la say la the word. It's it's, that's not the word. <laughs> it's la correcta. It's, it's, are you getting it? Oh, I'm oh, getting all of this. It's la correcta, bro. Right. Get into your teams. Get into your teams, then we'll get into it. We'll rally through it three times. So there'll be three winners. Well, three winners, three losers. Losing team will do 10 press-ups first time, but we'll increase it. So the first loser gets 10 press-ups. So you cross once and then you come back. So when you're in your original positions, grab a quick drink. Go on, go on. So for this one, you want to just do it as these guys don't have to go twice. Uh, that Oh yeah, that's fine, yeah. So yeah, Bavi, just set up for this one. So no one has to go twice. Just once each, there and back. Got it? Ready? Get back, you cheat, get back. Go! Get through all four boxes, all through all four boxes. Don't forget we're going through all four boxes. Oh. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Remember, when you're back in your original places, you sit down. No, 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 because Bavik sat out as well. Uh, we've got even numbers now. So we're just when you're back in your original places. Lovely, good. David, nice footwork. David, lovely there. Lovely rolling. Well done, the Bill. Well done. Well done, the Bill. Well done, good man. Right, yellows. Yellows, get down, give me 10. Oh. Yellows, 10. 10 press ups. You lost. Look at that. Look at the form. Fanny's and look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Shamaka, you're just nodding. Right, you get. Again, roll it through. You go to one to the other side and you come back. Going through all four boxes, Yanker. I think you might have missed a box when you went through first time. I'm watching. I'm watching you. All four boxes. Losing team. Nav, give me a worst forfeit. Bloody hell. All right, 20 high knees, 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups. That's a bit of a jump, but go for it. <laughs> From 10 press-ups. Ready? Right, Trav, you can wait there two seconds for that. Go! Go! Work through all four boxes, remember, keep going. Good, good. Good pass at the end as well. Thank you, Luke. He is getting penalised, don't you worry. So, Danny, when you, Asante, when you get it, you've got to hold it two seconds. I'll tell you when to go. Uh, Danny, Danny, you, Danny, you tell him when to go. That was the slowest two seconds in the world. One Mississippi. Two. Princeton, you're taking cones with you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It's very close, very close. He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna lose it. Well done, yellows. Right on bibs, 20 high knees, 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups. Danny, do me, make sure they do it for me. <laughs> Clevis, look at that. You're a pro at this, love that. 10 press-ups, 10 sit-ups. Uh, yellow's coming to me. Non baby's gonna come into me in a sec as well. Non baby's come in as well. <laughs> to be to be to be fair, if the uh, if the ball is not in control and the ball goes. Yeah. That's I a, that's a penalisation anyway. I demand a recut. Right, cool. I, feel like I feel like all of our players went through all the boxes, but it's cool. <clears throat> and you lost the drop. What do you, what do you, before we do it one more time, what do you find happens when you get into the middle and you've got three other players and it's all a bit hectic? Panic. Panic central. It's never happened to you. Are you sure? I thought I saw you panic a little bit in there. I've got it on camera as well. What's important, when we talk about attacking in the final third, what's important? Because instead of cones and your teammates, you're going to have big, big men that want to go through you. Now, I can imagine what's going to make you panic a little bit more, whether it's some flat discs and Turab, or Big Dave from Slough. <laughs> okay? Huh? We need to get used to being able to calm ourselves down and being able to compose ourselves when it gets a little bit panicky, when it gets a little bit stressful. Because if you talk about the CB Hounslow game two weeks ago, when it got panicky, when it got stressful, we started playing a little bit worse. Our passes weren't coming off and we were panicking and rushing things as a result. So yes, there's pressure. Yes, there's chaosity. Yes, there's a lot of nerves and pressure to do well and to keep the ball with you because you want to do well for your team which is good but you need to be able to sort of shut those feelings out and just make sure you do your job as best as you can because remember it's not just you that's doing this you've got six others five or six others that have got to go through it as well so if you can do it professionally if you can do it with a calm head and you can do it with a car a cool mind you'll probably be able to get through it faster because i guarantee i saw a fair few more mistakes there 
than I did when you first started it. So if you're able to keep calm and keep composure, you'll rally through this faster than what you did previously. So it's being able to hold yourself under pressure. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do it again. Now, what's the last punishment? Uh, let, me, let me think. Have a think. Have a think. Have a think. I say line up. Have a think about it. Yeah. Lose the lines up and you everyone just, takes considering, shots. Just considering, considering this will be worse than the last As one, you don't want to lose. Yeah. Yeah. Badik, you back in? Excellent. No. One, one of the Line yellows is going to go top. twice. <laughs> so one of the yellows in, in the team of three going twice. Okay, back in your team. This is the last one we're doing, then we're moving on. Let's get set up quickly. Uh, Shall let's get ready. Who's going twice here? You. Okay, cool. Yeah, Luke, monitor the cheating, please. Remember, when you go through it, it's going to be chaotic. It's going to be hectic. Keep a calm head. Keep your cool throughout. Ready? Uh, Santi can go back a bit as well, Ben. Go! Keep going, keep going. Um, in a second, so after this one, we're going to move onto this one here. We're going to stick two goals either corner here, and we'll have an end line sort of just inside, sort of where that blue line is for the box for this line here, and it'll be like a quick fire. You attack, you either score or not, and then you defend. Yeah, it's going to be quick fire. We'll keep it with the two teams. Uh, I don't know how many balls we got. We'll I see how we can work with it. So you want the blue line just behind the blue line, yeah? Yeah, so I say just about Where the two... spot is? Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Cross. Well, what's the, what's the forfeit? What's the forfeit? Uh, in you come, in you come, in you come. Who lost? Yellows. Yellows. I bet everything to me. Look at that smile on Clemson's face. Actually, let's let's get him what Bibs can do. You can do your forfeit in just a sec. Just in you come. We can get set up for the next thing now. Uh, if you if you take the forfeit and you just set up the line for me. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're going to move into a more of a 1v1 situation where it's a quick fire attack against defence kind of thing. What I need is the non-bibs. Congratulations, you won. You don't have to do Nav's forfeit, but I would like to just, just pick up the cones and the pancakes. You need one of them. I just need one of them. Whoever wants to. To do what? To do what? It's a full thing. If you're a. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Sandy's doing it. Okay. Yellow's over the nav. Non bibs. I need all the cones and pancakes picked up. Yellow's and what I would like is just a goal at one end. And a goal. So two goals on the end line. Just do, do it for me to have. Just two goals on the end line. One there. One there. Sort of two separate corners. Right. So what we're we working on this thing now here. So it's going to be a lot of 1v1s. Similar to the Fords who were with me a couple of weeks ago or last week. It's going to be a lot of attacking to defend, to defending transition. What's going to happen is, Botan, just come in if you're right. What we've got set up behind me is we've got two goals on the end line with a pancake line here. Okay, and we've got a box that's just behind us here on the red, which is sort of like a, an attacking zone for the defender. Greens are yellows, blues are non bibs. What's going to happen is, blues or non bibs will start with the defender in this box here in this end zone line here. Yellow, with a ball, will attack the end line and will try and score into one of these two goals. They can only score when they're behind this end zone here, when they're behind the pancake. So they've got to get behind this line here before they can have a shot at the goal. If they score in this goal, the goal that's closest to them, that's one point. If they score in this goal here, that's three points. So ideally, if you want to try and challenge yourself and push yourself, 
You're going to try and take on the defender who's going to come out and try and press you. You're going to take him on and look to score in this goal here. If you want to take the easy route, not a problem. You just look for the short option and try and attack this goal here for one point. Okay, we'll do a little tally and see who wins. Again, losing team will have a forfeit of some sort. Okay. When the shot has been taken from the green here, the blue will collect the ball and the green will be a defender for the next blue who will go and attack the goal. Okay, so once you've had attack, once you've had the shot, once your attack is over, you're now a defender for the next attacker who's going to be charging at you. Okay, this blue can only go when the green is shot. If it's the green against blue, the green drives in and the blue tackles and gets the ball, if he can get it into this box here and stop it inside this box just behind us, five points. Okay, so if you can defend the ball well and get the ball and look to play the ball, that's five points as well. Okay, now I've only got a limit, I think we've got ten balls in there. So... Once you've defended, once you've defended, get the ball and get it to your team as quickly as possible because we're going to lose balls fast. Got it? Yeah. Understood? <laughs> Why are you laughing? So funny. Why are you laughing? He's holding it for everyone. He's, he's, been, everyone he's, everyone. he's been a very it's good religious. secretary. Secretary. <laughs> Do we understand what's going on? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. We ready for it? Yeah. Right. Greens, you can go on this cone over here, this white cone here. <laughs> non bibs, you're going to go on that white cone over there. Set yourself up. When I see you're ready, then we'll get going. <laughs> One of the numbers will start. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Well, it'll be, it'll be each. So half half and half. Yeah, half and half. Yes, yeah, so non-bibs. As a ride, to wrap. Non babies, if you score in that far goal there, that's three points for you. Okay, if you score in this goal here, that's one point. You're all going to go defence at one point. First, and who's going next? So Prince is going first, Santi. As soon as Prince is shot, that's your cue to go. Turab, if you get the ball, you're going for this box here. Got it? You ready? Let's go. Santi, ready? Nice, Princeton. Now, Princeton, defend. Princeton, defend now. Don't forget. There we go. Santi, well done. Santi, go. Princeton, grab the ball and come back. Santi, now where are you going? Santi, good. Just take your ball back. Santi. Good, Yanka. Clevis, well done. Now defend. Go on, Thanny's in. Inside, inside the area, yeah. And just, just give your ball back to your teammate. Yeah. Alex, take it in, take it in. Take it in the box. Yeah, no, no. Hey, 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 h
For instance, you should be wearing shin pads anyway. Don't care, you should be wearing shin pads. Santi, you're out. Santi, out. That was lovely. Who needs it? We've got enough balls there. Good, Yanka, good, Yanka, good. Now you defend, Yanka, now you don't. You push, you push, you push. Go next. Jamal, okay, go to the back. Go to the back. The ball go. The ball go. Well done, Nabil. Well done. Good, Nabil. Good, Nabil. Well done, Nabil. Well done. No, oh, you're defending. You're defending, buddy. You're defending. You're Daddy, you see that? That was. Magical. Did that, you was, get it or that was good. That was the bill, well done, man. No, no, it doesn't matter. He's still got the ball. It's well done. Go, 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 go. Let's be alert, boys. Let's be alert. Now, when we're going. Alex, bring it back. Center, center, Alex, center. Go, 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 go. I thought you went to go. Perfect, thank you, Mochis. Well done! Now you go, now you go, now you go. Manu, defend him! Manu, defend us! He needs to defend. Defend, Marco, defend! Go! All right, Clevis, you're the last one. Clevis, you're the last one when you're ready. Manchur, you're defending now. Give him the one point on Columbus. Come here, finish him. One more, last one, last one, Clevis. Last one, last one, last one. Oscar, sorry, Oscar, last one. Right, Jens, in you come, in you come quickly. In you come. I'm going to look defensively here because I think defensively is where, where the struggle is happening so I want to improve that quickly what are we finding is happening when our blue goes to attack their goal gets into the box and scores What's happening now? Switch off. They switch off. Has to... Kind of, kind of switch off. We do switch off a little bit, and this when this man goes. But what's happening is, we're almost in a flat foot race running across here to try and block the goal. Yeah, we're not driving, Good. Remember, you're you're pretty much starting in roughly the same position, and you're probably closer to the goal than they are. What I was saying, because what, what a lot of you are doing, they're going and you're charging off this way. And suddenly when you're sort of past the middle, they're going, actually, nah. And they've got a direct route into the goal to get one point, which is fine. If they want to do that, that's fine. And actually, they're, they're making the right decision in terms of going for the goal that's free, going for the goal that's available and easiest to get to. Right? When we say we attack the goal... This man's been beaten and we score here. When this man's go gone, charge towards them. Look to run towards them and put pressure on them. Because even if you don't quite make the tackle, what you do is you make them make a decision here in terms of where they're going to go. Because if you can block, 
block off this goal here, they're probably not going to go into you towards that goal there. They're probably going to try and take you on and go into this goal here because that's where you're going. If we're looking at pressing at an angle and making play predictable that we've done before, if you can block off this option here and charge towards them, so where they're running to, you block off this option here, make it harder for them to go here, so you know they're probably going to go there. This is where the one one against one, one v one happens. And this is where you make it easier for yourselves as a defender because you can try and win the ball here instead of trying to win the ball here. If you try and win the ball here, you're not going to win. Because all the attack has to do is just poke it in the goal, in an empty net. And as well, if you commit yourself to going to this goal when the man's here, you just leave that wide space open up for him to attack. Remember, he's got two options. So instead of running all the way across, look to run towards the man, put pressure on him, make him panic, make him make a decision, make him commit to something, make him try and take you on. If you do that, then you put more work on the attacker to try and do something in a 1v1 situation, then we're actually looking on playing in the final, in the final third, instead of me coaching a pressing session. Does that make sense? Okay, just a couple of little things, well, just one little thing I want the to do. Because then I can start coaching the attackers instead of defenders. Charge at the man. Even if you, even if he beats you, even if he gets past you, then that's that's well done to him. But don't just give him a free ride to the goal and give him the option early doors. Press him. Because if you win it here, then you've got a free entry into this grid here. And you win a point. Understood? Yep. Split yourselves up again. One person in that bit over there. I'm going to keep score now. I'm gonna, I wasn't, uh, you're lucky I wasn't keeping score ready, but I'm going to keep score now. Uh, Sorab, just knock those two balls in the goal ahead of you on your right. There, just ahead of you. Knock them both, knock them both to your team. Knock them both there. Yeah, that one as well. Oscar, you ready? I'm going to keep a tally of this. So, bibs, non bibs. Ready? Go! There we go, lovely footwork. Oscar, now you press, now you press. There we go, well done, you're going to the man, well done. Good, now we're attacking him higher up, well done. Well done, Azariah, now defend. Good man. Uh, I'm not sure what I've got in that bag. Good. Good feet, thanks, I'm proud. Good. Uh, if we got some water, just get some water on it. Okay. Danny's saying good. David, you switched up. Boys, boys, listen up now. He saw the red light was on. He said, yeah, it's all done. <laughs> Gents, what's going to happen? If you look behind yourself, you've got the pitch split into three parts. One zone here, one zone here, one zone here. You're going to play essentially a 7v7 slash 7v8 game. I think we might do a magic player, which will be Oscar. You're going to put pink big off. Pink big off, right? Actually, I think I've got a red here. Jeez. You know, You've even got your own counter. Jeez. Yeah, that's what What's going to happen is... Not the, not, not the fair man. 
it's going to be a 2-3-2 formation. Both teams. So both teams have two defenders, two attackers, and three midfielders. To start with, you're stuck in your area. So this middle bit is going to have a 3v3 or 4v3. Oscar, you'll be free to go anywhere you want. Okay. In the defensive zone or attacking zone, it'll be 2v2 and 2v2 here. When there is a team in possession. So if the Blues are in possession here and they're attacking that way, so they're defensively here, I will let one of the players move across and just drop in to help them out to make it a 3v2. So one player for the team possession can move to an adjacent grid to make a little overload. Okay, same going forward as well. If they push it forward, oh, almost lost that. If they push it forward and move it to the attackers, one player can go in and make it a 3v2. You can only score inside the blue areas allocated. Okay, so only inside the blue boxes you can score a goal. As we haven't got keepers. It's one touch. Huh? Is it one touch? Yeah. No, won't do one touch. We'll do open end. If it gets a bit crazy, then we'll do one touch. But for starters, if you just get into the blue box and want to have a shot, you can have a shot. Okay? Take into what we did before. Take the quick feet. Take the quick decisions. Take the attack in the spaces behind the defenders into this. Okay? In about five, ten minutes, I'll make it open end so you can go wherever you want. Got it? Yeah. Oscar, obviously, you're working the team position. Okay. Uh, Alex, do you want to sort out your team? Okay, work out who's going defence, who's midfield, who's attacker. Uh, Trab, you want to sort out your team, defence, midfield, attacker. Okay. Obviously, obviously Oscar, you've got to put Ripper. Yeah, I'm not dressed properly. I don't know if you can clearly see. Here you go, then. Oscar, Oscar, get a yellow bit on. You're, it's going to be a 2 4 2. Okay? 2 4 2. You'll win non bibs. Uh, Turab, Turab, it'll be a 2 4 2. Mo's going to play with you as well. Yeah. Two, six, eight. 2 4 6. Danny Zan, yellow bib. Uh, Bavik, come on this team. You're a yellow. 2 4 6 8. Good. 2 4 6 8. Yeah, Alex, you got Bavik as well. Okay? Hold it, Manzor! Hold it! Hold it there! Who's in possession there? So, Manzor, you cannot go in. Only when you're in possession. If the bibs are in possession, then you can go in. Okay? So, one of the non bibs can drop it. Well, now, obviously, Alex has got it, but if, give it to David. Now, one of the non bibs, you can drop in here and help out. So, non bibs, so Mo, maybe you can drop in and help. Good. There. But obviously, Manzel, you just got to hold your ground and make it 3v2. Go from there, from there. And now it's Alex's ball there. Well done. Yeah, well done. They're good, Alex. Good talking. There we go. Good. Manzel's found some space. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Can we finish? Good. Urshad, remember, you cannot move in. You're not in possession. Gents, do not forget that. If you're not in possession, you cannot move across. Bavi, good. Manzor, Manzor, only one. Manzor, only one. Manzor, only one. Only one. Gents, I'm a bit disappointed in my instructions but being missed already. Good play. Gents, then you come.
David, hurry up. This is how we're setting up, yes or no? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Alex has the ball here. Who's allowed to drop him? Jan can move it. Who's allowed to drop him? Good. Why? Because the team possession. They can have a overload. Yeah, overload. Well done. Thank you. If we're in possession, one player can drop in and make an overload. So we've got three three attacking players against two defensive players, essentially. Four times I have to stop play because people are not getting this one instruction. If David wins it back off Alex, what does this player have to do? Drop back and one blue. One blue can come in. If he wants to, you don't have to. If he, want, if he wants to stay in here, that's fine. Because what it might be is if you've got blue players all dotted around here, greens are sort of pressed up here, it might be that the option is David wins here and he just plays direct here into the blue. And then we can attack here and move, make it 3v2 in the final third here. We've got to talk more. We've got to communicate more. We've got to make decisive commands more. Four times in eight minutes, I've had to stop the play because you haven't understood this instruction. Now, I see the me not saying it right, which in that case, ask me if you're confused or you're just not taking it in. Which is it? Second one? Second one? Yeah. Well done, if this is the first one, yes. tell me. Yeah? Yes. One thing I'll say is whoever's in midfield. Like, watch the ball, and in case they say I win it back, whoever's been my team, just be alert so you can come support them. And so, for the other team as well. Same thing. What we've got here, we've got quite a big pitch and quite a lot of space to work in. So, really, if we're in possession, we should be working our way forwards quite quickly if we're thinking about the space we've got and we're actually using the space we've got, but we're not using the space we've got. If we're in possession, what the thing that will determine whether someone from the midfield drops back and helps, or sorry, someone from the green drops back to help the green in defence, is how much space the defenders have got. If you think they're struggling, if you think they need support, give them support. You can see it. I can see it. Nav can see it. Luke can see it. Everyone can see it. Make the decisive action. Take responsibility and support them. If you're seeing, actually, no... Alex has got the ball here. Alex is fine. Then, yeah, don't support. Let Alex push forward. It might be Alex might move forward into this area here and make it a 5v4 in this area. That's fine as well. Take some responsibility in yourselves. Some Take some decisive action. Make a decision a bit more. Yeah? Go! We'll go two minutes of this, then we'll go five minutes of free roll. Urshad, well done there. Urshad, Urshad, all I say is just a little bit of a hard pass in front of him. Urshad, Urshad, come here, come here, come here. If we're going forwards, if we're attacking this way, play the ball in front of the man. Because what, what that allows Sans to do is he can run onto it, take a positive touch, and he's attacking faster. If you play it behind him, he has to stop what he's doing, collect the ball, then push forward with it. And it takes a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just, just try and play it, even if it's a bit further in front of him. I'd rather that and work on that than it be behind him and him stop, have to stop for it. Yeah? Where's that run? Where's that run, Yanko? Yanko, where's that run? Where's that run? Go. Uh, Shad, stay. Good. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting it. Last 30 seconds, free reign. No corners. Well 
Good anchor. Good girl, well done. Hold it there, Tarab. Tarab, sorry. Hold it there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now it's free reign. You can go wherever you want. The pancakes, they're just a guide now. So you can go wherever you want. Just use the pancakes as a guideline. Whenever you're ready, Tarab. Go, go. Still inside the box. How's Princeton doing? Yanka, Yanka, come back now. And? Uh, yeah, he can be there. Um, he just, I said, make sure you message him. Get him wet, get him wet, get him wet. Sunny, well done. Sunny. Thank you. Exactly what I'm going to Well done. You've got to be greedy at times. Hey, boys, you've got to drop the pick. We've got to finish up. Yanka, that was good. Morgan, turn that thing.